Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So you notice that the first coming of Jesus, the Bible actually describes him as Emmanuel, meaning God with us. He came to be with us to save us from sins. Now, and the Bible also describes him as the firstborn, God's firstborn. You remember in the Old Testament you have uh, Adam, Adam begat this, uh, this begat that, and then that one begat this, and there's a whole long list of uh, uh, family names and, and the family uh, uh, genealogy. But in, in, in the New Testament, we are born in Christ. There's no need for that long list. We're just born in Christ. You know, so Jesus came as the firstborn of God. Not only that, he came as the first begotten of the dead. He was the first to rise up, rise up from the as a born again. Um, this same Jesus that we preach to you today. Uh, he says, how do they believe? They have to believe only after they have heard uh, 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 the message as it is, but with power to cause results, to make things happen. Hallelujah. I know that everyone is important. And everyone, if you cannot go, you can send. If you cannot go with the message of salvation, you can send. You send through your money. All of these things will be the platforms we created in church, a healing school, a glimpses of glory, devotional, the, the, the television ministry, uh, uh, and so on and so forth. These are platforms that are designed to take the gospel further, to take the message of salvation, the message of Christmas, the real message of Christmas, further, that the Savior has been born. That Savior came, he died for sin, he's the one authorized to take away, free you from sin, and give you a... a, a, a the life of God and also give you eternal life. A life after this life. Praise God. And he says for that, in Romans chapter number 10, he says in verse 15, he says, And how shall they preach except they be sent? You see that? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Then he said, But they have not all be obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who had believed that report? So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now let's 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 go back. Let's go back. In, uh, Romans chapters number ten, verse nine and ten is so critical. It says that at the name. Let's look at verse six. He said, but the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The world is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with, the mouth, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You see that? This is the simple cure for sin. This is the simple cure for hell. This is the simple cure for eternal damnation and spiritual death. To come out of spiritual death, to walk away from eternal damnation and hell. He said, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, because you believe in your heart that, you know, he died for your sins and that God raised him again from the dead, he said you are saved. It, that, that's, that's the time, at the point that you actualize the salvation that he brought. The salvation that Matthew chapters number 1, uh, uh, verse uh, 20, 26 to 33 talks about the Savior from sins. So how do we cash this check of salvation, this check of deliverance, this check of healing? Just the simple use of your mouth. You confess that Jesus is, 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 is Lord because you believe that God has raised him from the dead. 
This is the testimony that God gave of the Son. And we have to accept that testimony if we are Christians. Not only do we accept that testimony, we have to take that message to others. We have to reach others. No amount is too much to spend for the gospel. No amount is too much to spend for this message. This is the only message that can cure humanity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 